Hello, welcome back to another Forgotten Vendor video. This is gonna be my attempt at another combo video with a few spread out NPCs in different locations. And I'm gonna try to make it like a long pattern so anyone could just start from the top of Kalimdor to the bottom of Kalimdor, for example. But here in Undercity, I'd say start here at the Magic Quarters at Millie Gregorian. She's my favorite NPC because she has the same name as me. <laughs> so she sells patterned tuxedo pants, greater adepts robe, patterned tuxedo shirt, and patterned tuxedo jacket. But I would recommend buying them, and if they don't sell, just learn it and just make them instead, because they absolutely sell when you make them. Another important vendor in Undercity is at the Rogue's Quarter. His name is Joseph Moore, and he has a bunch of recipes, but we can only buy one without being a leather worker. And that's called Pattern Barbaric Bracers. As you can see, I've sold these for 496 before. Now they say 198 on my server. Still worth it for 16 silver. And just to the left of Joseph Moore here, we have a vendor that annoys me, but does sell. <laughs> His name is Jonathan Chambers, and he just sells bags. I know. Thick hide pack, mining sack, heavy toolbox, gem pouch. Now you can see I have sold one two days ago for 502 gold. This cost nine gold. Mining sack and enchanter's satchel. 20 slot enchanting bag. I have sold two of these. Cheapest for 317 and most expensive for 356. 13 hours ago. That's why Jonathan here annoys me. This is bullshit items, but people still buy it. So, recommend you to get one of each and buy more if they sell for you on your server. Another classic thing to do in Undercity is go to Jeremiah Payson. He's in the middle, he's at the bottom here. And buy a little cockroach for 42 silver and 50 copper. Not that much money, but if it sells on your server, go ahead. You can also make a stop at Ronald Birch. That is down here. He sells two recipes that sell well on my server and have a few more vendors. But I would say Ronald is probably the most convenient for Horde. So he sells recipe Bristle Whisker Catfish. I've sold four of these recipes. Cheapest for 504 gold, most expensive for 783 gold. So again, a reminder, the recipe costs 10 silver and 20 copper. I've sold four of them and I've gained 2,562 gold. The other recipe I would like to highlight is Recipe Rainbow Fin Albacore. I've sold four of these recipes. Cheapest for 168, most expensive for 253. And then we make our way to Brill. Oh my god, did my guildmate just receive Invincible? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> then we make our way to Brill. Innkeeper, past the innkeeper, go to the right, Abigail Shield trade supplies. She is the only vendor and there only exists a hoard one to sell recipe crispy bat wing. Minimum buyout on my server is 4721. I haven't sold this yet, but I just cannot not recommend this. Because if that sells, that's incredible. All right, next up we got Urg Thickblade. And he is in the Bulwark here on the left. 
And sadly, he doesn't sell it right now, but he's supposed to sell, as you can see in the lower right corner, pattern storm shroud pants. And Wowhead tells me, and I have bought this before, he does sell pattern wicked leather gauntlets. The Alliance side also has a vendor that sells these two items, and he is here in Chillwind Camp in Western Plaguelands, right there. Next vendor is at the top of Hillsbrad Foothills, here in the ruins of Alterac. We have Broken. And he sells us recipe frost oil. I believe I have sold this on my other server. I will post screenshots. But here minimum buyout is 2,589 gold. Pretty good. He is the only vendor and he is a neutral vendor. The next vendors are in Silver Pine Forest and specifically in the Sepulcher. First we have Alexand Alexandre? <laughs> they sell us agile boots. Minimum buyout on my server is 10,500. And staple boots. Minimum buyout on my server is 1,911. She is the only van the only horde vendor. And the alliance equivalent is in Lockmodan. Cat Sampson. Then we have Andrea Boynton. She sells these common shirts that we have seen before. She also sells Soul Styes robe and Whispering Vest. Next vendor in the Sepulcher, Sylvanas is over there. We just were over there. Is down in here. Andrew Hilbert. He sells us recipe smoked bear meat. On my server, you can see they sell really well. I have sold the most expensive for 1167 and cheapest for 690. He also sells us pattern murloc scale breastplate. Only horde vendor. Pattern blue linen robe that is not as interesting because it has multiple vendors. But then also pattern murloc scale belt that is way more interesting because he's the only vendor. Next up in Hillsbrad we have Intaren Mill. Go to the innkeeper. To the right. We have Melon Swain, tailoring supplies. He sells us pattern dark silk shirt and pattern blue overalls. The overalls here have lowered in price and they have multiple vendors, but I would still recommend it. And pattern dark silk shirt being the mo more important. He's the only horde vendor and the alliance vendor is in Duskwood and she's called Shuri Zipstitch. And just as I was about to start looking for Zixil, the merchant supreme, he comes walking in. <laughs> He's supposed to be walking from Taran Mill to Ruins of South Shore, like this, up and down. So, since he's parking here, I'm gonna talk to him. And sure enough, he sells Fireproof Orb. Minimum buyout on my server is 22,590. Hoping for that. I would ignore the pattern red woolen bag because there are multiple vendors and they're very cheap. He also sells formula enchant boots, minor agility, sharing a vendor in Thunder Bluff called Neta Dawn Strider. So I already have these in my bag, haven't sold yet, but potentially 1979. And then he is the only vendor to sell pattern earthen leather shoulders. So I'm definitely getting that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sixel. 
Before I leave Sixil, I want to mention that he's supposed to sell schematic goblin jumper cables as well, which I know from experience. A goblin called Xix in Duskwood also sells. And the one in Duskwood is also neutral. Alliance can also go there. I believe he stands somewhere here. I have video footage of that, so if it isn't uploaded now, it will be. And he's stationary. So if you really need these goblin jumper cables, try there as well. Continuing Hillsbrad foothills, here in the corner of Durnhole Keep, we have George Candret, Leatherworking Supplies. Don't ask me what he's doing here, I have no clue. But, sadly not for me right now, but he's supposed to sell the pattern green leather armor. It says so on Wowhead, says so on my add-on all the things. So make sure to visit him. And then a little bit to the side here. In Dernhold Keep, we have Chris, freewheeling tradeswoman. Ah, she also sells the stalking pants, just like the dark iron entrepreneur we have visited before. She also sells wolf bracers, just like in Ratchet, neutral vendor Vic Spindle. Bear bracers, just like Vex Spindle as well. And owl bracers, just like Vex Spindle. I already have these stocked, so I'm not gonna restock. But recommend if you don't have it already. The next vendor is actually in Eastern Plaguelands. Far here on the right, in Light's Hope Chapel. Jay's far lane here. Just scroll to the end. And he sells you Design Ring of Bitter Shadows. As you can tell, I have sold this for 2,878 gold. This is the only vendor. I believe he's neutral. Since he's a human and he will talk to me, a blood elf. And market value right now, 3,716. I'm definitely buying this again. As you can see, it's sold before. So yeah, easy money. Thank you so much, Jace. If you've gotten this far, congratulations. This will kind of be the last vendor I'm going through. Because from here on out, I'm only going to two more vendors. Which are in Ghostlands and Eversong Woods. And they have been featured in one of my videos already. So if you've seen that video already, you're done. Congratulations. <laughs> if you haven't, I'm going to make this real quick. This is where you enter Ghostlands. No, you won't be able to fly over. It's really annoying. So just trust me on this one. And from this point on, you cannot fly. Now that we made it to Tranquillion, we will start with this vendor named Eral Eralan Poison Supplies. So she doesn't sell it. I haven't been able to see it yet. But in the lower right corner, you can see that she's supposed to sell Sinitar Scimitar, which is apparently something that's going to sell for a lot of gold. But personally, sadly, I've never seen it. But I've also never really camped it because I can't be asked to go out here. <laughs> but that just makes it better for you, right? You can camp it. Second vendor here is Master Chef Moldier. He sells us Recipe Crunchy Spider Surprise. And these have been selling well, not recently, but they have been selling well in the past for me. Cheapest I've sold is for 88 gold. Most expensive I've sold is for 189. Recipe costs 4 silver each, and I've sold 14 of them, and I've gained 1,817 gold in total. Second thing I recommend is Recipe Bat Bites. I've sold 10, cheapest for 186, most expensive for 219. This recipe also costs 4 silver, and in total I have earned 2008 gold. 
don't worry about these lower recipes. They're sold everywhere and they sell for really, really cheap. Next pit stop will be in Ruins of Silvermoon, down here. And remember, if you've been here before, you can just take the flight path. Great job, our 19th vendor will be in here, in Ruins of Silvermoon. Or to be exact, Falcon Wing Square. Here we have Landrialanis. Not sure. And he only sells us one recipe, but it's a very good recipe. Recipe links steak. I've sold 21 in total. Cheapest for 248 gold. Most expensive for 511 gold. In total, I've gained 6062 gold. This recipe cost 34 silver. So I'm going to stack up a little bit. Oh yeah, that is everything he sells. So I felt silly ending on 19 vendors. <laughs> so you can take the flight path so from Ruins of Silvermoon to Fair Breeze Village. And then you'll end up there. And you can walk in here. And you have Jilan. And she will sell us three different Dragonhawk hatchlings. And on my server right now, it says they go for 199 gold each. She is the only vendor. And there we have it. 20 different vendors from about a third of Eastern Kingdoms that have made me thousands and thousands of gold and still do. Make sure to let me know if you like these combo videos, then I will keep doing them. It was just an idea I had. In the past I have made single videos with single vendors, but if these combo videos are more appreciated, then I will start doing these instead. So make sure to check out the playlist where I have a few vendors I featured in this video, but mostly brand new ones. And they have made me even more thousands of gold. So if you like easy gold making, make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching and have a great day!